Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Vandalism at an annual homecoming tradition at Sadel High School is causing a student and some of her friends to question how inclusive some of her classmates are and whether or not school leaders are trying to create a safe environment for everyone. KCCI's Kayla James is live at Sadel High School tonight with a look at the problem. Yeah, James, that very same student tells me for homecoming week, they spray paint the road leading up to their school. She says just two days after she and her friends finished her piece, they were horrified by what was painted over it. Spray painting this road is supposed to be an outlet for fun and creativity for St. L High School students, but for junior Alexia Wallace. And it's just no fun anymore. It took a turn when she says someone vandalized what she and her friends created. Me and my friends had spray painted like a pride flag on there. Wallace says other students changed the flag and left a message. One of the boys, a part of the football team, had wrote gays for Trump. Another space along the road when Wallace says is now painted over showed the letters LGBT. This video captured earlier in the week showed the words liberty, guns, beer, and trucks underneath it. I felt offended and hurt because there was no reason to do that. We didn't offend you in any way just by putting that on there. Superintendent Todd Martin couldn't confirm with KCCI if the students involved were football players. He sent us this statement saying the district did an investigation and has taken reasonable and appropriate measures. He went on to say due to the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, the district can't discuss the specifics of the case to maintain confidentiality. We confronted them about it and we got suspended the next day. Wallace tells KCCI this happened after she and her friends asked the students why they vandalized their work. She says she and her friends did this because they didn't get much feedback when they told the school what had happened. Now she's worried what impact this will have on younger generations. It's not okay because then the younger kids aren't going to want to feel safe or want to come or be part of that school because there's people like that. And because of the FERPA law, we don't know where school can't share if the school permitted other students. What Wallace says was involved, but she tells me she plans on to continue fighting for what she believes is right. In Des Moines, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.